Welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and I am happy to be back. I didn't really mean to take so much time away. You know, life just happened. I just didn't get a chance to film anything. Plus, I had been waiting on a package <laughs> forever. It seemed like it was forever. So, the package finally arrived. It was found. I thought it was lost. I had to reach out to the company and let them know that I didn't receive the package um, as expected. And of course, they said that they would put in a claim with UP USPS, but they said, USPS said it's too early to do it. It was around like 18 days and it had to wait till 21 days. So then it was this week when I was going to send them the information, like as a reminder. And I ended up getting the package yesterday. So it's in this box, pretty sturdy box. It doesn't look at all, you know, questionable. It looks fine, although I am a bit nervous about the contents. Actually, one of the items in here was a low inventory item for the company. And by company, I'm referring to Vaness. I placed an order with Vaness. <clears throat> and so anyway, I'm just really excited. It's here. I am hoping and praying nothing is wrong with this package. And I kind of went a little wild. I've been not buying as much, which is a goal of mine this year. Um, although I do notice that when I don't buy a lot, I kind of save my carts and then I kind of wait and just add and add and add until I'm ready to, to pay for it. And I think that's kind of what happened here. So they provided a list of inks, which, oh, these are the Kobe inks, which is nice and nice reference and put that to the side and then I have my full details list here so <clears throat> should we do this top down maybe do this top down I don't know how do you guys feel about just me showing you guys okay so the first things at the top are I got a couple of pens actually I got three pens so those are here. I will put those on the table to see top down. I did get an ink of Cho Kuru, which is something I'm really excited about. Although I kind of wish I did get the bottle. Although the bottle is really like kind of pricey. So I figured maybe stick with the sample for now. Um, they did give me like four ml. So that's enough for at least two fills. Um, and then I finally got the ink that I've been talking about since September, 30 inks, 30 days. So I got the Don Quixote, Quixote ink from Wear and Gold, one of my favorites from that month. I also got the Starry Night, um, fountain pen ink. And I thought that this was just really fun. I, um, this is the first time I saw it on the website. It's a very small bottle actually a little bit smaller than the wearing goal but I like the color when I was looking at their inks so I picked that up I also picked up a Vinta ink this is I don't know is it Arnibal what did I get yes so this is the Hello Rain collection burnt sugar Arnibal you can kind of see that the bottom the color it should be really pretty excited about that and i also got romeo one of my favorites this is a it reminds me of like pencil gray black color which i love and yeah. then everything else came in here which is nicely packaged. 
So I picked up some stickers and I do love the fact that Venice sells not just fountain pens, but also other brands that you don't typically see in fountain pen stores, <laughs> I guess you could say. So I like that so that I don't have to go to um, all these different websites to buy what I want. I can just, it's like a one-stop shop. So I did pick up these stickers, really excited about that, to add them to my planner. And I did pick up an Eroful blank notebook. I love this paper. And so I've been um, kind of, someone, I think it was, Rebecca, no, I think it was Rhonda who told me that they have Irrefull in a notebook form. So I had to get that. I've been sitting on this for about six months, um, but I finally got one. And then last but not least, I picked up a Galen leather uh, pen case. And so this is actually surprising because I thought that I would have gotten the Galen leather actual box, but they didn't provide the box. They just gave me what's inside the box, which is fine. I don't need any more boxes, but Galen leather does have really good um, keepsake boxes for their products, which is nice. I already have a ton of them that I still have, and so I don't need any more. So, you know, if you are one of those who do order and want to get an actual box, maybe you need to ask Venice beforehand if you can have the original box. Just just an idea, just a thought. But um, anyway, so this one does have like this crease in there and that's because I decided to get the Magnum Opus 12 sot case, but this is the one that can sit on your desk opened at an angle which is quite nice I think is this supposed to slide oh and it does slide out which is nice as well so I'm really excited about this because rather than having my pens sit um, straight I've noticed the the pens that are inked up when I have them in this vertical container like this some of the pens don't write right away and I have to kind of jump start them so I figured maybe it would be better if I have them kind of sitting at an angle I mean it is still like a vertical slant so it may not be that helpful but I don't know maybe there will be some type of difference in it plus the nice little uh fact that I can just zip it up and take it downstairs with me and travel throughout my home with it versus this one, which I don't mind as long as the pen fits really securely inside here, which in this case doesn't always happen because they have different slot sizes. So some of my pens like this one only goes in like a quarter inch and I'm it makes me nervous when I'm taking this around the house that it would fall on my hardwood floor. So having something like this where I can easily close it up and take it with me is more ideal for how I'm using my pens right now. So I'm really excited about this. Let's get into the other pens I got. Let's do face down. Okay, so we're face down and this is the Galen leather case. I think it goes like, how does it go like that? I'm not sure if I'm getting this wrong. I guess like that. So I guess I have to like bend it and then, I don't know, this is kind of interesting. It's supposed to sit a slant. Now this is empty. If my pens were in there, it's going to force it down. We'll see how it goes. So let's just quickly put some of the pens I'm using. 
that one and that one. That's a Scribo. This is a Franklin Kristoff. This is a Zodiac Pen Company. Let's get you in frame. We have my Leonardo. We have another Leonardo. We have a Visconti. Yep, see it's falling. Is that supposed to be how it's supposed to go? Do I have this not correct? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how this is supposed to work. Maybe it's not supposed to hold itself up. Either way, we'll just use some help. Um, <clears throat> I have my Monte Grappa and my Platinum. I have a Twisby. I have my Vanishing Point. And Twisby. Oh my gosh, Twisby. Perfect. Now I have no room for my new pens. But this is actually what I've been using. Oh. Well, and then my Omos. So really, I think it's going to be one of these pens I have to clean out because the ink is actually done and I can't really remember at the moment which pen that is but it's one of them that needs that cleaning so I really like this let me show you my other Galen leather hard case so I have the hard shell one and this one holds six you could see that like really beautiful patina there and um, yeah, so really excited about this. I've been meaning to get a larger pen case because I always typically have more than six pens inked up, but let's see, how does this go? Oh, this is magnetic. Okay, so this is, this is magnetic on this side as it's completely folded down. And yeah, I don't know how this is expected to stay. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. But, oh, this feels really nice. Really nice. So this is Crazy Horse Brown. Um, it has a little bit of tooth to it uh, versus this one. This one's really, really smooth. And obviously has markings and patina, but yeah, six and 12. And I also have the stickers. So Kubo and Lucy stationary stickers. And I have Midori stationary stickers. Another set. This is going to be perfect for spring. And this one for the beach. We're going to be going to the beach this uh, late spring, early summer. So I'm excited for that. My Aerofold notebook. So this one is grid, soft. I don't think the pages are um, terrible, which is preferable for me. <clears throat> so I'm excited for this. On to my inks. I really do want to test these out. So this is the Anibal. Vinta ink. Let's test that one out. We have Starry Night Fountain Pen. 
and of course my Don Quixote and Romeo. Okay, so let's get into the pens. Oh, forgot this ink. And then my Chokuro. And I think I have a discount at Pen Chalet where I might use it to go towards a bottle of this ink. All right. <clears throat> So let me just get the name right. First pen is Twisby Eco. And if you can guess, one, two, three. Oh, of course. Need to move those. Yes, I ended up getting the cream or creme and rose gold. Oh, this is a lot prettier than I imagined. Definitely, definitely very pretty. So, I, oh, and that's pretty too. Look at that nib. I got the medium, right? Nope, I got an extra fine. Yes, it's an extra fine. And I hope it writes really nice. Aside from that, I mean, Twisbees have their benefits. So I do have quite a few Twisbees now. Oh, I forgot I had this pen inked up. This one, and that one, and that one. I have a black Twisby. I had a pink Twisby, but I had given it away to um, my husband's coworker, of all people. I don't know why I did that, but it was the hot pink Twisby, but I did it. And um, then I have this one. And I have a black one. So I'm not trying to go crazy with collecting a whole bunch of Twisbees. Um, but the colors that I do like, you could tell I'm into the blues. Neutrals are, oh, and I have a white one, I think, as well. So black, cream, and white. That is more up my alley. So really excited for that. They just write really smooth. They're pretty reliable and um, simple simple pen that has some really nice it's lightweight um, and it just functions well for the most part like of all my Twisbees I've ever purchased maybe one of them had to get fixed maybe trying to think or I think it was me because that was earlier on in my fountain pen knowledge um so yeah anyway the main reason why I visited the site is because I wanted to get a platinum fountain pen so this is platinum and I wanted the pen um I wanted a different body of pen so Platinum is one of my favorite brands, and I knew that they had this pen at Van Ness because I've seen it multiple times, and I think I saw it first at on Kristen's uh, YouTube channel after she went to the DC Pen Show, or it could have been San Francisco Pen Show, one of the two, and I said, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. It's the silhouette. Ah, this is gorgeous. It's like a gray, but like a it could it could be a blue gray too. So I wanted something different. I do have quite a few um, platinum pens, and maybe I should share what those look like. 
So there's, oh, please tell me they come with a cartridge converter. Okay, they do. So yeah, this one comes with a cartridge converter. I ended up getting an extra fine because that was all that they had left. And this was the pen I was worried that they wouldn't have any more of because she did mention when my package or when we thought my package was lost that she would have to take the pen off the site because in, in the event that it was lost and I wouldn't be able to get this one sent back or sent to me. Um, but anyway, so I ended up getting extra fine, which is kind of right really, really, really tiny, but I'll make it work. So as I'm, <clears throat> So as I'm digging through my pens, um, I completely forgot I got that orange color Twisby, which is so not me, but um, it happened. So yeah, so black and orange, I mean, definitely October colors right there. And then my latest platinum is the um, Komodo, Sands of Komodo color, very pretty. So, just another beauty to add to my list of beauties. Really excited about that. I really want to ink that one up right now. Um, just trying to figure out my life. Okay, so let's go to the next pen, which is this one, which is also quite interesting because Sailor is my other favorite brand. And I ended up going with the Nagasawa um, Clear Barrel, but in the Pro Gear, and this is their one of their special editions, I think, or I don't know if they would call it a special edition, but this is the, they call it the Gearske Gold, it's gold. Goodness gracious. But anyway, the Gears, Gearske, am I saying that right? So the finial has a little um, ink bottle, which is really cute. And it's gold and clear. I have a Zoom nib in the 1911 gold and clear sailor pen, but um, I really want to get the flat top. So the Pro Gear. Should I even bring out my my sailors? I've talked about my sailors multiple times, but for the sake of the video, let's just bring out some of them. Okay, so these are all majority of my sailors. I can't say it's all of my sailors because I'm missing the one sailor that would be the exact um, similar sailor to this one with the barrel. <clears throat> and the trim. Don't necessarily go with an actual theme like some people do. Quite a few of these that have meaning to me. I think the one that has the most meaning is this one. I love all my sailors. I need to do just like a whole year of just using sailors. I don't know if that would actually happen because I, there's so many other great pens out there but I'm really excited about this. So let's ink up one of them. Maybe we just test the inks until I can figure out what pen I want the inks to be in. So we're gonna test the inks in this little guy, which I couldn't, I haven't yet quite completely figured out how I wanted to use it, so we're just going to go ahead and use it for ink. Look at this box. This is the cutest thing. Okay, hopefully that is better. Camera angle, starry night. 
Ooh, that is pretty. That is a gorgeous color. Let me put my Kakimori nib in the water and kind of pull out some more. Okay, things are smacking against each other. So this is a bit diluted, but Very pretty. So this is a brown. And it's called Annie Ball. Let's dip it in water, kind of dilute it. All right, that is a pretty deep brown. Kind of looks a little yellow. Oh, there's some gold in there. Nice. It's looking a little greeny yellow, but it's not. It's it's a warm brown when diluted. Yes, it's still pretty gorgeous. Still a pretty, pretty gray. Oof, why is that a lot? It's very wet. Done. Okay, it's diluted. It's like a browny pink color. Which seems to be a popular color right now. Browns and pinks. Browny pinks. So let's get a closer look. It's not quite dried. Oh, you can see that shimmer, glitter, and Romeo, Anne and Annabelle. Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty subtle, though. And then, ooh, Starry Night. That's nice. All right. I'm super excited for these colors. And I'm not going to do this one because there's a lot of videos on this ink um but it's black so there's that too and plus i want to kind of save the little sample that i have because i want to use as much of it as possible before i have to or feel the need to buy the actual bottle itself if you guys have any questions please feel feel, please feel free to put them in the comments below thank you if you're still here, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!